Good morning, it's a daily quiz, episode 38, Hazard and System Safety Job Hazard Analysis Method. A lot of information in that title. I'm John Newquist and I'm your host and it's November 13th, 2025. And this is an ASP, CSP, and SMP. HAZOP study encourages the use of blank to help explore where procedures could deviate from its intended function. Abbreviations, terminology, OSHA definitions, guide words. So they, in this example, they use the key word instead of the answer. So if we have something like on a pump, what's the flow? Guide words would be, keywords would be more, less, no, reverse. What would happen with that pump if it had too much flow? You know, would it bust the pump? Would the seals leak? Same thing. So the HAZOP encourages the use of guide words where the procedure could deviate from its intended function. And that's, you know, having done several of these, these are easy to do. You just take each piece of equipment, you go through the guide words of pressure, temperature, volume, etc. And plus your history of the piece of equipment. The system safety technique that selects an undesired event whose possibility or probability is determined and then requirements could occur is called. I don't like the, the question. I mean, we'll see, you know, the, the question is kind of like disturbing right there, but I try to paraphrase a, a test question that was on the exam. Is it gonna be fault tree analysis, Boolean algebra, process hazard analysis, or failure effects mode and effect analysis? So you're gonna get an event and you wanna figure out what were the issues that could happen pre-event. This is gonna be what they call fault tree. Could we have a fire in the accident in unit one? Yes, we have flammable material source. We could have a short circuit, inappropriate use of equipment like grinders without a hot works program. And this could be a whole setup of what you could say as an analysis of what could cause these issues. So it is the fault tree analysis called the top event, chemical release, system failure, then works backwards mapping it down. A lot of people make the mistake and they put the last answer, failure effects mode and effect analysis, or I call it FEMA, but it's FMEA. It's bottom up. Here we just start with all our components and see what, how it affects the system. Kind of like an automobile, take every part of the automobile and look at what could happen based on your history and then say what the probabilities are and everything else and could this cause an issue in the actual automobile. And then the long question, you are a safety professional on a construction site, a supervisor is preparing their crew for a non-routine task, lifting a large, awkwardly shaped piece of equipment onto a mezzanine. You notice the supervisor quickly filling out a JSJ, job hazard analysis, at their truck without consulting the workers who performed the lift. The supervisor said, don't worry, I've done this a dozen times, I'll get the guys to sign it so we can get started. As a safety professional, what's your most appropriate and effective immediate action? A, allow the job to proceed since the supervisor is experienced but plan to observe the lift and note any hazards for future JHA updates. B, report the supervisor to the project manager for failing to follow safety protocols as this is pencil whip behavior puts the worker at risk. Politely stop the work from starting, tell the supervisor, let's get the crew together for five minutes. I wanna hear this thoughts on the lift so we can make sure this JHA is solid. D, provide a supervisor with a generic JHA for complex list and ask them to revive their current JHA to align with it before starting. This is never a fun situation where you are dealing with another manager, but the answer is going to be try to stop the work from starting, get the crew, get it done. You know, and, and it, it isn't that critical. I will see you tomorrow.